game. What is going on YouTube? It's Flopfish here and welcome back to Trading Block episode number 43. Uh, I had some players sell. I believe one was Jamie Ben. I think Rask sold. Um, who else is in there? I forget who all was in there, but uh, quite a few players actually sold and I think four in total. Um, again, I completely forget who they all are, but looks like we have a ton of offers and I actually wasn't around to check them for the last little bit so I'm um, gonna go through and uh, accept or reject and I actually watched the video today and I guess I forgot I was pretty tired last night when I recorded it and uh, I guess I forgot to plug my mic in or turn the mic on in uh, the game capture program so my bad there um, on the audio so let's start it off with Jalmerson for Myers no thank you we're gonna keep on to Myers for that uh, next up uh, on Marlowe, we actually have three offers in here. We have Taylor Hall in 1.5k. That's not bad. Uh, ooh, Sharp and Edler in 1k. They're both around 12k, 12k and 10k. That's probably better than Taylor Hall right now. And Rick Nash and 50 Puck. So I'm going to go ahead and look up that offer afterwards. Um, all those are fairly good offers here. We'll just get through the front page. Ranger Gretzky, no thank you. Uh, or is that yeah I think that's the Ranger Gretzky uh, on Pavelski gets off in 1.5k I think that's a fairly fair trade so um I'll definitely take that one and then one I'm actually going to take right now is this is Boychuk on Ronick um, because it is a two-part deal so uh, I agreed to this one on Twitter uh, I forget his YouTube name but um, I believe it's Cole with a whole bunch of numbers on the end of it <laughs> on Twitter so um that's the first part of the trade and then the second part is going to be on Malkin here which yeah it's not a bad offer but again uh I already agreed to that one part so I'm gonna take is uh Malkin and Ronick for Stamkos and Boychuk which is fairly fair trade in my opinion so we're gonna send Stamkos actually to the active roster he has the privilege of going to there so um Pretty excited for that one. That was a fairly good deal, so thank you for that one. I think we both got pretty good deals there. Uh, 10k for Lindback. I have no clue what he sells for. I'm going to reject that one, I think. Actually, I'll look him up. Uh, on Williams, we have Skinner, Whitney, Doughty, Vizhnovsky. That is not enough for him. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, after that, we have... Jonathan Tays with two offers, which is, this is way too low. And then Krejci, Krejci's going to be too low. Uh, let's see here. So um, after after him, we have uh, Chris Letang up here. Uh, Bobby Ryan, Callahan, Del Delzato, that is too low. Uh, so let's see. After that, we have Hosa. Hosa has five offers in... Yeah, it's troll offer. 130k, Datsuk and Stanley Cup Hosa, no thank you. That works out to around 400k, but not enough for me. Uh, reject, reject, and reject. Again, don't know if those are just offers to feel it out or not, or troll offers, but either way, you know, um, have to reject them all, especially on a player like Hosa. Uh, Terrace Grabner, yeah, no thank you. Uh, again, one game injury, <laughs> probably just a troll offer, so, um, 10 seconds left, we should probably go look up the Marlow trade here, so we have to look up Nash, and then we have to look up Sharp and Edler, I believe Edler's around 7k to 10k, um, so we have to look up Nash, who is on Columbus here, and let's go ahead and let's crank up the minimum price up to... 1k and then let's go with so 16k no bids 19k uh i think straight up is an even trade but i think i have better trades on the table with him i believe yeah it looks like they're going to be about the same so they're the same value and then next up we had taylor hall who's going to be on the edmonton oilers here and is hall in 1k this one actually might not be a bad trade um all right, so Hall definitely dropped in value. He used to be around 20K, 22K, and he actually peaked at like 30K a few weeks ago. So I'm going to pass up on that one. And then that leaves a Sharp, who's on Chicago. Uh, that's going to leave Sharp, 
who I think is around, yeah, he's probably around 12K, and Edler, who is around that 7K mark. Um, I think I like that trade the best, personally. Uh, I think it's probably one of the lower, yeah, he's around, he's, that's actually a fairly good price for him. 7K is generally what he goes for. Um, but yeah, that's a fairly good price on him. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to reject the first two. Uh Hall and 1K not in my interest. I don't like I don't mind this trade at all. Uh 1K, so that's 14, 7. That's a fairly good trade. Um and then this one's just that's a dead even trade and it's just I think I'd rather have uh, sharp in there. Uh, next up, I do want to look up actually Lindback here quickly. Uh, Lindback's going to be in the SM Liga, so Star of the Weeks League, SM Liga, and then we'll go goalie here, see if he's up. So again, 21k is the lowest. 10k seems kind of low on him personally. Um, again, I think he's a regular 87 goalie, so I'm going to go ahead and reject that one. Because I, I think I want more than 10k on him, um, personally speaking. Again, this trade, Marlowe is on the right wing, which has a huge change team card on it. Um, and I don't actually mind running Marlowe. And as much as I like this offer, I don't have a use for Sharp or Edler right now. I'm going to hang on to Marlowe, actually. Um, and I think, I think I'll think i try to see where he fits in in my lineup. Uh, again, that was probably the closest offer, but... It's just nothing that really stood out to me as something I wanted to get right now. So, um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, let's go with... Uh, to the phone's off the hook right now. Um, let's go with Pavelski here. Yeah, that's a fair trade. I'm going to take that one. Um, let's see. Williams. Uh, Emery... Kane, Doughty, and Skinner in 3K. All together, probably 10, 20, 30. I'll hold on to Williams. Again, eh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to Williams for right now. I do really like Williams, so I'm going to be pretty biased in that trade. Um, let's see. So we got we got the nice little break here. Uh, now I can look up Stu Ben here. Couture is definitely not enough on him. Um, Couture is probably only 20k. Subban's an easy 40. Uh, let's see. So on Kadri we have one. Is yeah, no thank you. Uh, let's see here. So after that we have one on Petrangelo. See what this one is. 20k plus around I don't know, 30k. 20, 40, 60, 80 in players. Um, yeah, no, thank you. I will definitely pass on that one. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, bit of a break right now. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to make my new lineup upcoming here. Uh, let's see, who else am I going to send to it? Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll definitely be doing a lineup reveal tonight because I think I've built, I've stumbled upon a pretty solid team here, especially getting in the Marion Hosa. He's probably one of my more favorite players to play with, but uh, definitely looking to upgrade some players. I am definitely looking, again, for the Team of the Year's Get Slap. That is the one player I really, really want. And um, Oh, speaking of uh, stuff I need to talk about, um, the results for number 42. My mic, I left this in the description of the listing for this. My mic actually um, came unplugged and it froze my... Uh, program and I ended up losing the recording and I did not realize it until after it was recorded and it didn't save anywhere which is very unfortunate because it's actually a pretty solid episode uh, I just wanted to thank the person who gave me the Ronick on the Kulaman and then there's a couple other trades in there that I really really liked but um, yeah so that was a bit of an unfortunate incident which kind of sucks it happens but you know you gotta you gotta battle through them here so it doesn't look like we have a ton of action coming down the stretch here. Again, um, I might try to do something with these guys in here. Uh, Nugent Hopkins is actually slotting in. He's actually fairly solid. I found his checking to be a lot higher than what it's rated as. 
And I think he has a fairly low salary too, which is nice. It's nice to have players with lower salaries because they kind of bring everything down a little bit. But um, I'm fairly, fairly excited to make this lineup I'm, I've been hoping for. So on Lynn back here, oh, no, it's just a pseudo offer. Uh, let's see here. Nothing there. 19 seconds left. It's safe to say Zetterberg's probably going to be staying in the in the team for now. Again, I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently with him. Uh, probably at least I need to I need to think about it and think it through a little bit more. Um, but I'm probably just going to shop him a little bit harder and not on an auction block. Um, and what I mean by that is that I'm probably just going to make a video saying I have him. I'm looking for offers. This is what I'm looking for. He's not going to be on the auction block and make me an offer. Uh, 60K in these guys. Again, probably 140 in total. Um, 10, 20, 40, 60. Oh, no, that's only 60K. That's probably 120 in players. Um, close to 120. Again, going to reject it. Or close to 60, so 120 in that trade, gonna reject it. I'm gonna keep Petrangelo because I did see a few actually get bought at like, um, I believe it was 125 or not 125, 175k. One actually went for 220k, so uh, that's kind of why I'm listing mine around there. Um, Clarkson's actually, I'm shocked, uh, no one really has played with him a lot. He's actually a very, very solid player in this game, a great grinder. And the start of the week version is very, very good. Um, I do enjoy playing with them. I normally slot them on my fourth line, but I really like Anze Kopitar and Dustin Brown there. To me, they play the best together, especially with Team of the Year Kunitz. Uh, so that's kind of where my fourth line's at right now. I would run Clarkson, but again, I don't really have a ton of room for him. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, yeah, again, Hosa going to be a tougher player to get. Um, for me because he's one of the ones that is highly coveted after uh, and yeah so uh, let's go ahead and let's take this Pavelski trade on Getzlaff and I'm actually once again looking for the team of the year Getzlaff so um, the Pavelski trade thank you for that one I might I might try just throwing in the regular Getzlaff just to see if I like the combination but again and no we're going to send him to my trade pile for right now um, again, I do really want that team of the year gets off and that's a card I'm willing to pay a little bit more for because it is a little bit rare and I'm thinking around, you know, probably the 220k range. Um, I'd probably be willing to give up, you know, someone like Taze and, um, a little bit, a little bit of pucks for him. So, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Nothing really left here. Um. Well, lots of stuff left. It's just nothing, nothing that's really gonna move. I think. I think Jimmy Howard probably won't go anywhere. I might try him out for a game and see how he plays. Um, I'm trying to f think of who else sold. I know, hmm. They were all like the. There's a couple 10k players. I think. Um, I think there's a 15k player. I forget who all sold. Um, great. Now this is gonna bother me. Um. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember. I know Ben sold, and I know Rask sold. Um, I know. <laughs> I can't think. Did Koivu? Koivu didn't sell, did he? Oh yeah, Koivu must have sold. No, he's still there. Let's see. Kadri, fifty k. And no, thank you. Again, left wing Kadri. Left wing Kadri is generally one of the most popular team of the year cadres. Um, I don't even know how many games played he has. Uh, 103, that's actually not too bad. What does the Nooch have? The Nooch probably has a lot. Yeah, that's what I figured. Again, the lower games played, generally speaking, the higher a player value should be. Uh, Hosa should have a ton. Yeah, except for Hosa, you know, with over a thousand games played. <laughs> that's pretty nutty. Um, Having a great career there for Hosa. I want to look up his stats. He's probably got a ton of points and goals and assists. Um, let's see here. So again, that trade on Kadri just doesn't interest me at all. Uh, if I am looking at a trade, I'm looking in like pucks and 
one player or two player max and enough to get another Kadri back on the left wing. And again, there's some of these players that are going to be very hard to get. Um, Petrangelo is one of them. Uh, the Chara is another. The Chara, the Petrangelo, um, the Kadri, and the Hosa are going to be the hardest players to get here. Um, I think Subban. Subban is, he'll be a little bit harder to get, but I am willing to move him because I do have a couple players to replace him in the left left defensive D spot. I think I could try, actually, I could try out Myers there. Um, that may not be a bad fit, actually. Um, but again, lots of, lots of possible combinations here, which I really like. And, you know, I like, I like having that bit of diversity here, uh, in my lineup, which I do have now. And I do have actually, well, I never noticed we had 1,600, 165,999, 999 pucks is kind of a weird number. Again, Grabner and Sagan, just not enough. Um, Sagan playoff editions under 20 K that's about. 55k and Grabner's probably like 35 to 40k I want to say probably 40k um I actually haven't watched his market so 40k on him would be yeah it's not enough for me uh Sagan definitely is 15k or less because he was available for so long um that's the thing with the playoff editions that the players who are in the first round uh, they're going to be a lot harder to come across except for anti Niemi. Well, Niemi was in the second round, I guess, but you can still pull Niemi. But again, Jean Mersin, Boychuk, like all the Blackhawks are going to be really easy to find. Um, and Bruins. And then, you know, you're going to get these tiers. You're going to very rarely come across an Ovechkin because he was only in the first round. Uh, Crosby was in for three rounds, but again, he was a harder one to pull, so he's still going to be rare, but. That's where the Ovechkin is going to be very, very rare because he was a rare to begin with and he was only available for like a week as opposed to uh, the Crosby, which is available for a month plus. Uh, bit of a difference there. So, yeah. Uh, overall, though, you know, fairly solid trade day again. Got some solid stuff moved around here. Um, again, the Stamkos trade was one I was highly looking towards and... Um, very excited to bring Stamkos in here and going to probably show you guys my lineup later tonight, what I have it set up as. Uh, again, offer on Petrangelo is 80k this time. 80k in Roosevelt. Again, Roosevelt is probably going to only be like 4k. Uh, Key is probably going to be only 20k, so 40 is 120. Again, this just doesn't cut it for me personally. I know I, if I list the Petrangelo at 120, he's going to get bids and I'd rather have 120 pucks or 120k pucks on that than that offer at around 130 and the reason why is because pucks are generally king and if you can get pure pucks it's gonna it's worth more than pucks and players and i've said this many times and this is one of the things i really like to inform you guys about is that pucks in this game like i have set values for everything you know i kind of have like um puck values and then I have player values and trades and there's certain players you know that I'm leaning I'm more biased towards that I want so I'll make better offers on them or that I don't like so I won't you know value them as highly and it's just a lot of it's coming down to players you want and players that are pretty hot on the market a player that's hot on the market is someone that you can list up at 50 pucks and they'll sell at 106k but and then they'll consistently sell at 106k no matter where you list them. If they consistently sell at that mark, then I consider that you know the value a hot player because they're fairly, um, they sell fairly often and they sell for the same amount. They're not really fluctuating a lot and they're fairly safe bets. And that's what Kadri is. Uh, Kadri is one of those hot players who's always in demand. Uh, same with the Hosa actually, and probably the same with the Chara. Um, again, the players in demand are the ones that you want on your team. Uh, let's go ahead and let's actually send Hosa to the collection here. Uh, again, going to make that roster up a little bit better this time and see where it ends up. But yeah, so again, nothing really huge going on. Um, I might try and do something, something later today. I'm not sure. I still have to think about it, but again, with only six minutes left here, uh, this will be a long episode. So, um, most people normally split these into like four, but you know what? I don't want you guys watching four sets of ads. Uh, so let's see here. Let's see. 
Uh, nothing here. Um, yeah, nothing on the Subban. Again, just not, you know, my favorite, my favorite, um, my favorite offers on the players. They might be okay, but again, if I can go ahead and get 150k for a player on the market, I'm not gonna take a trade worth 140 or 130k, especially when I have the only one. If I have the only one, I know I'm gonna get something that I really like for them somewhere down the road. Or if not, I'm gonna be able to hold on to them and have a fairly good team, um, and one that I enjoy playing with. So again, Subban. Subban's going to find his way onto the team again. Uh, I have him paired up right now with the Petrangelo. Actually, we have an offering on Jimmy Howard. Let's see what it is. It's 25 k for Jimmy Howard. I don't think that's a good value on him personally. I think I could probably get a little bit more, but we'll go ahead and we'll check to see what he's listed at here. Um, NHL and Detroit. I think he's, he's a rare goalie. He's consistently up, but he's a rare goalie. And again, his Stanley Cup one, only going for about 15K. 25K is not a bad offer on him, I guess. Um, if we look at goalies in the 90K range here, let's see. Looking at goalies in the 90K range here. So Bobrovsky sells for that. Um, actually, Rask sells. Holy cow, he dropped. Uh, one sold for 57K yesterday. Um... Volkun again in that range there of the 35k it's definitely more what I want in a goalie is of his his stats is around a 90k or so um but let's see 45k 25k I think I'll reject and see if they counter back if they counter back I might take it um 25k again just not a great offer in my opinion on him I think I can list him at 30k and he will sell um, if I wanted pucks now for a player then I would probably take that trade because I there's some players that I do want and if I need to you know that extra 510k I'm more likely to take a player you know um, that might set me back in the short term but I can get a player with bigger value and again that's another thing that I like to do is that again I trade up a lot and I also I'll overpay or sell off some players for pucks a little bit cheaper because I can get I find some good steals and those steals you know they they feed off of the pucks that you get offered and um, hang on let me just finish talking here 100k 120 130 100 again I'm gonna keep on to Petrangelo. Uh, his team of the year was a buy it now at 350k, so at least half of that is easily expected, um, and 200k is actually not far off. Um, to especially even 220, you know, I'm gonna be fairly fairly firm on my pricing with him for that reason. Let's go ahead and let's send Co or Nugent Hopkins to the uh, roster, well collection, but. That's one thing I wish they put in 14 is that you could actually just send these straight to your roster. Um, it kind of sucks you can't. Uh, then again, there's some players that you know you don't have, but or that you have in your roster that are in your trade pile. But again, just generally speaking, um, there's actually some other stuff I'd like to see improve. Like, I don't think you really need a bigger trade pile. It's just. I wish there was a place like if you had season ticket or something, uh, you could get more spots like 40 or f like 50 in your trade pile as opposed to th 30 because I would like to have some more spots. Yes, it'd be longer episodes, but um, I could do a couple different things with them, which I want to do. I just don't want to run two accounts for trade days just in case I accidentally <laughs> overlap them and have to pick and choose between one or the other. So yeah, um... 30 seconds left on him. Doesn't look like they're going to counter. So looks like we're holding on to Jimmy Howard here. I'm just going to wait a little bit. I'm also probably going to pick up some new jerseys soon. Uh, I, as much as I like the green jerseys, I think it's time for a new change. So um, I think you guys will see that unveil eventually too. Um, I'm pretty excited for some stuff that I'm coming up with in the future and some of the content and just the overall stuff then that I'm planning on doing. I'm getting pretty excited for it. And I just need to sit down and record it. It's going to be a little bit different and something a lot of people haven't done before. But 
hopefully you guys will enjoy it because it looks some of the stuff I've done already looks pretty sick and no one's actually seen it yet I think I'm the yeah I'm the only person who's seen it but um it's something that I think no one someone should really do in this game which if no one's done it you know uh, I'm gonna be the first person to do it which will be pretty cool and hopefully you know you guys really enjoy that type of stuff so let's send him to my collection here maybe he doesn't want to go alright so I think that'll about wrap it up I don't think we're gonna get anything on Chara here so um, oh he still had five seconds left that was weird uh, 110k I'm gonna hold on to him again that's probably the best offer but it is too late and it's just, again, I could probably get 175k on the open market for him. No problem, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so, anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, drop a like or something. And as always, take it easy and peace out.